fancy meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish, and this is Echo Echo. Look, we got decorations. Hooray! That doesn't say oob. It says boo. It's backward. Maybe I should get another set and just put boob there. Hmm. It's a vibe. How are we, everybody? I... I am a bit tired because I uh, have been a night owl for the last, like, however long. Getting up a bit earlier to have to do the commute, but yeah. Um, but otherwise, very good, excited. I'm really, you know, the school is amazing. We had a, uh, our first staff meeting this afternoon and there was somebody there who everyone will know. The person who has to prolong a meeting because they want to talk and they've got their own agenda and it's like, shut the fuck up. Anyway, well, I didn't swear just then, right at the beginning of the video. So we are crawling towards 400. What? Amazing. So excited. Anyway, we are here today. Please like and subscribe. Tell people. Tell them, like about me, not, not, don't just tell them like, you know, random stuff. Well, you can if you want, but tell them also to, to come on over and subscribe. All right. Uh, we are doing, now we know I've got no fast Wi-Fi, just the crappy little data on my phone because apparently my house doesn't exist to our phone company. Anyway, we are looking at iGenius, which is... I had thought I was going to do a Kane Harriet video today because I'd found a playlist of iGenius trainings. They have this rich call, which I had known about, but Isabella Lanta, I, I swear I am not stalking her yet, but no, I'm kidding. Um, she, she just, she's a very inspiring, I don't like when I see her stuff, I'm just like, yes, oh, we need to do more about that person. So she, I just, I love her to death in a parasocial way. Yay. So I was looking at that and I had planned to do one of his videos and I was downloading that and then going through the Instagram and hello, hello. Trouble at Wafab. Oh, Wafab. What have you done? Uh, yeah, it's one of the top leader. Not not just not just one of the members of WFAB, but a top leader. Apparently, she had reached the full time rank, which was the diamond uh, IPA uh, something platinum. So she apparently she had reached that, but she quit and went to Q Sciences, and she's in the freedom movement now. Fucking hell, these people. Daniela, she's so beautiful, she could easily be an influencer just on her own, okay? Charge more for your lashes and live it up, girl, as an influencer. Stop with this shit. The MLM business model is the same, 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 same. She could do well outside of the company. Anyway. Uh, I've got her thing, but I'm not going to react to that because I was looking at the other Wafabi girls, all right? And there's a girl called Lindsay Haynes. She's a very young girl who has found a bit of success in iGenius. And I'm going to have a look at some of her Instagram slash reels. I joined her Telegram chat, very excited. And however, before we start either of those, it's going to be a bit of an iGenius grab bag, okay? So I, I'm, i you know, diving back into Facebook, all right? I'm diving back into Facebook, everybody. I'm channeling the inner boomer. I'm going to just minimize myself here, okay? There's not, there's no sound to this. So I will put some, put a bit of background music on now, okay? Can you do that, please, Tish? Anyway, so this is the iGenius Facebook page. I'm going to check out some reviews from the iGenius Facebook page. Are, re are you ready? Oh, look at this. We've got some interesting names. 
look at this person called Sainty Ding 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 and Jay. Ding and Jay. Hmm. I highly recommend Mrs. Lauren Jordan Lauren to everyone looking for Forex and Bitcoin trader. Words can't describe the wonderful work you did on my trading account. I am delighted. I am delighted I trust you and gave you a chance to help grow my $500 into 7000 in just a week. Lauren, my family and I are forever indebted to you for your financial stability you brought to our home. I advise the entire public to invest with Mrs. Lauren. Contact her via WhatsApp, email jordanlauren at gmail.com so well written right we i think oh let's have let's check out sainty ding and jay sainty ding and jay a lovely traditional white man's name right right let's have a look at him all right yeah oh check it out one like yeah he lived he's from perth He's an Australian, everybody. He's an Australian. Oh, but hang on. Um. Oh shit, mate. You got how many from the 9th of October? Are they all the 9th of October? Let's have a look. 14th. We got 14th. All right. Let's go down. Let's go down. 9th. 9th of October. 9th of October. 9th of October. Yeah, keep going. 9th of October. 5th of October. 3rd of October. Oh, this is a different one. Hang on. Good work. Oh, whoops. No, no. Sainty Ding and Jay. If I ever have to have, like, go and, you know, incognito at a hotel, Sainty Ding and Jay. Don't tell the paparazzi. Uh, good works. Good works deserve good recommendation. I appreciate the effort of Mrs. Lauren for helping me work from home despite being quarantined. Profits been made weekly as she promised. I invested $700 and now making $8,230 weekly. All thanks to her wouldn't have been easy during this lockdown. She made me and my family smile. Send her a DM and thank me later. Look at Sainty. Now, if that ain't a Sainty Ding and Jay smile, right there. Oh, that's that's it, people. That's it. Oh, so I did save it because I wanted to Google image search it. Maybe I do that right now. All right. So, um, you know, obviously there are some real ones here. Look at this one, Usman. Usman Buhari. I will always advise da, 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 da. all exactly the same. Kurt Watts. Now, Kurt Watts actually does have. Let's have a look at him. His. Uh, I haven't got the heart to read this whole thing out. Oh no, look, it's got the word champ. I'm back in. I'm back in. Okay. Cryptocurrency Bitcoin investment is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity that many are sleeping on, but you are not champ. You are here and you will make it. I say this with full confidence and trust in the best expert, Samantha Cox, who has shown me and other genuine and real profit. My biggest concern was not being able to contact the broker after I paid for the service, which from my understanding is a common issue. However, my fears were unfounded. This is better written than um, Sainty Ding and Jay. Um, Miss Samantha is a great advisor, very patient, will explain everything, answer your 101 questions. Advise on matters not necessarily directed directly related to cryptocurrency itself oh does she also advise you on recruiting a team member to cover your uh, monthly fees of 175 dollars we'll explain it uh, i would also like to mention that my situation was complicated and yet mrs samantha managed to get me complete financial st financially stable also my first withdrawal payout 
was instant and mouth-watering. Ooh, okay, this was well written until then. Uh, mouth-watering. And Mrs. Samantha made an application for another investment plan for me immediately at no additional cost. Overall, my way to a secure generational wealth offer was perfect and successful. I am delighted and excited to be have had such opportunity with Mrs. Samantha and her broker, who is equally informed. Broker, what? And helpful made the whole process as stress free as possible. Once again, I recommend this company to all who are looking for a reliable professional broker who treats their clients with respect and care. This was the best customer service experience that I had from months. That's there you go. I genius talks about having an AI that trades for you. But that's not actually what happens. But I think they do get an, they have access to another AI who writes these fucking reviews. Oh my God. I want to eat my dinner. And look, see, they all have that same thing at the end. WhatsApp, email, WhatsApp, email. See, oh, blessings like an hour. Oh, there's our friend Sainty. And there's a negative one, which it might be. I was reaped of maybe that's not. I was reaped all of my money by this scam investment company. I was devastated, and I sought for help from different security agencies. But luckily, I was able to get all my money back with the help from a private company. Ooh, I also feel cheated. They said they would refund the money in an email and for two months they tell me no, they will not refund anything for me to a real company scam. We know it, people. We know it. What are we doing here, Pip? What am I doing? This is like my screen recording and I can't remember. More things with a WhatsApp. That one's terrible. Look at it. Janet, DM WhatsApp. My trading profit was okay as seen on the target. Thanks, Janet. This is my first attempt and you are truly trustworthy. Really? Really? Now here I am. Is Michael Cameron a real person? Mm, looks pretty generic, right? Oh, oh, two people like the. So, really, I'm getting the images to reverse image search. There's Sainty. Can we see him? That guy, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> oh, God. What's that? Yeah, checking out his. He's got a few pictures, followed by 11 people. Suspicious. That's weird. Do we go anywhere else? Oh, we're back with Sainty. Can I know what good in that company? Can I know what good in that company? Oh, doesn't recommend. I bought a $5,000 package a year ago. They don't have $5,000 packages. And they never paid a day of mining. I brought this to their attention and they said that once mining begins again, they will start paying. Oh, that must have been when the company changed. Yeah, names. Come on, me. I was probably reading it. The worst is a fast. This service is terrible. That must have been translated uh. <laughs> hang on did you see that one Maria is it Maria oh where was that There are only two reasons why you are inside this company. You are either fucking manipulative or you're a manipulated, or you're manipulative naive. Hang on, go back.
Oh, that's a bit. That's a good one too. The worst is a farce. Stop. <laughs> the worst is a farce. Their ser service is terrible. It is a company that their policies are first before their customers is the worst zero recommendation. Yeah, you tell them, Ruby. Uh, so here we go. Um, you're either a fucking manipulative or you're a manipulative naive. Either one of the two is pitiful. I, I'd say that there would have been an, a lot in Lost in Translation there, but uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of uh, – oh, so here's the reverse image search. So this is the guy, one of the guys. that I found. This is the Crypt Keeper guy. God, look at him. Don't let him near your children. And, um, yeah, it was similar images. I could not find a picture of this guy, so it's possible that it's an AI-generated person as well. Oh, that's Blessing. Um, we haven't looked at Blessing. Yeah, that's her name, Blessing. Let's have a look. So this is Blessing Okinawa. I think that's her name on here. Come on. Yeah, Blessing Okinawa. Okon Koo. Sorry, Okon Koo. Mm. She's got a similar account to um, Sainty Ding and Jay. Had had put it up upon myself to celebrate and dance endlessly with profound happiness to appreciate Mrs. Lauren for a great for the great job done. Started trading with her and watched my profits grow on a daily basis with her amazing skills and good brokerage. I made a withdrawal without being charged a fee. How? How? They have a ten percent fee on everything. Um I'm really indebted and grateful for your good work and service. Contact her through my email. 8th of November, 2021. Next one, 8th of November, the same meet. 4th of November, same thing. She's got no friends. She's got one picture and that's it. So it's all BS. It's all fucking BS. All right. It's, it's a scam, complete scam. All right, so what I'm going to do now, because I am hungry. So that that's happening on Facebook. <laughs> aren't they cute? They're cute, aren't they? Fucking scam artists. All right. The old Igenius followers getting packed. Oh, no. What did I do? What, did I put it in? Oh, no, I did put it in that. It's so funny what happened with uh, with Daniela as well, Daniela M, because I'm sure that this thing with a B happened, and I'm sure it was Daniela on there. Okay, hang on. We, we're doing – oh, that's not the one we want. Okay, hang on. I have Sorry. chills because I, I, I ran outside. Look, I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. Because I cannot – I don't know where the bee went. It's somewhere in the condo. I don't know where it is. Okay. So she had a, she's deathly afraid of bees and um, she was like trapped it. So this was, I will have a look at the date in a minute. She, look, she's on the phone to Daniela right now. Look, okay. When was, when did I take this? Oh, far out. I have to check. Let's put my face on. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. How are we? How are we going? Good. I'm good. That's good. I feel good. I'm, I'm not even speaking into the camera. Uh, so, this was on the 1st of October. It is the 6th today. So, she had... Uh, a bee in her in her flat 
and or condo. And I think you can hear Daniela. So, no, no, you guys get launched in South Africa again, bro. Not Melbourne. I'm Acting like you grew up in Etobicoke, bro. <laughs> Not even Etobicoke. What am I saying? Hamilton. Not even Hamilton. What am I saying? Oakville. Oakville. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I said. B, get out. You're giving very much Oakville gal energy, bro. No, that's Woodbridge energy. Oh, Woodbridge. I see it. It's right. Okay. Because bees send. Uh, yeah, and then Jasmine went to the airport because she went on a trip. Apparently, it was pre-planned, but she went on a trip, just just jetting off. So, what the hell happened in between now and then? That's what I want to know. All right. We are going to watch this one. Oh, what the hell is happening? So this is Lindsay Haynes. She is one of the, she's a quite a main Wafabi girl. She wasn't in the Hills Over Heels, but she's had quite a lot of success with a script of hers. And she spoke at, well, they all fucking speak. It's not special. Um, and she had a script that was printed that people were using and having success with. So she's sort of elevated a bit there. And, yeah, we're going to have a look at what she has to say. All right. Starts on Instagram, goes to TikTok, finishes on Instagram. Okay, let's go. Happy Wednesday, I promise you. Oh, actually, hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. I promise you, I have not been in the spot all day. I actually um, have been recording a lot of content for you guys. I have a new series coming out. And one thing that's so cool. Making two fucking TikToks is in a series. FYI. About business is that it comes in phases and you're not going to be inspired and have like really good ideas all the time and you're not going to feel it all the time but when you do and like the universe is giving you that energy you gotta freaking use it you gotta use it right now you gotta stop what you're doing and you gotta just like go for it right and what i've noticed in my journey and and a lot of my other girls' journeys when it comes to business is that the more pissed off you are the more successful you get so I'm I think she's like 22 right her girls her team it's so weird for these women to be speaking about people like that it's almost indentured you know like they are indebted to me for their lives well clearly not that much indebted because Daniela M she's outie really excited for this series i'm gonna be posting on my tiktok i was gonna start a new tiktok but i think i'm actually just gonna keep my old one and did you catch that she was gonna start a new tiktok why would you do that why would you need to do that is it one of these rebrands you know like oh we've got to revitalize my instagram you know and and she probably was given an audit and told she needed to do this, this, and this, right? It's weird. I've had the same Instagram for 10 years. Why would I need a different one for doing the same business or same things? Really just show the progression and everything still. No. We're going to head over to TikTok. I am the first online entrepreneur in my family, and I want to walk you guys through how I came from an employee mindset to a business mindset and how I started from absolutely scratch. No rich family, no sugar daddies, no nothing, okay? No help. I started from absolute scratch and grew a success. Coach Lindsay. Her name's Coach Lindsay on TikTok. Check it out. No, but don't. <laughs> We're going on strike. 
I am the first online entrepreneur in my family and I want to walk you guys through how I came from an employee mindset to a business mindset and how I'm an online entrepreneur. Same. Guess how we decide. Guess how we decide whether you want to be an un- online entrepreneur. You you just say it. And it's true. It's pretty it's pretty good. You don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to have any education. You just fucking say it and you put it in your bio. How I started from absolutely scratch. No rich family, no sugar daddies, no nothing, okay? No help. I started from absolute scratch and grew a successful online business. So step one is going to be... I know. I know how the secret. I know how. Team building, recruiting, recruiting. Uh, she's about to say some really toxic shit coming up. This is why. I was just just checking out the iGenius people since Daniela left. Well, more the WFAB people. And I heard this and I'm like, you're going in a video, girl. Checking your environment this is absolutely key if someone doesn't understand what you do or is subconsciously judging them or is being passive aggressive about what you do or or trying to say that it's not realistic it's not possible you need to cut them out One hundred thousand percent, you need to cut them out because you have to fuck off what a toxic mindset And she's about to say what's on the screen there because you have to understand that strangers are going to support you. How ridiculous. She is so brainwashed. How fucking ridiculous. Because she probably thinks that's what her face looks like too. Because she probably never sees it without a filter. You're not that person. In your heart of hearts, you're not that person. The hun- Hunbot persona, it's taken over your whole soul. Because before network marketing, if someone had have said, don't listen to your mum, don't listen to your sister, don't listen to your boyfriend, don't listen to them, they don't, f- don't listen to your best friend. I, as a stranger, I know what's best for you. I, who stand to gain money from your participation in this system, I am looking out for you. What a bunch of shit. That is so toxic. And this is what, this is why this MLM is so dangerous. Because they aim for the young people. I know I'm sounding like a boomer. But they aim for people who are just out of high school. They probably groom people under 18. Okay? Because, for one, usually people, in most instances, as a teenager, they have had a part-time job where they have saved money. Because they want to do university or go in Australia, a lot of people save money to go to schoolies or a gap year or something like that, okay? So they've got the money. Secondly, they're looking for people who may not experience as much success as others, people who are disillusioned with their university or college experience, or people who just are on the edge of society and they don't fit in anywhere because they've got main character syndrome and they think they they are entitled and they think they're going to be an influencer and blah 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 okay that's not as common obviously but it is so insidious because then they start spewing this shit it is revolting and i'm here to call it out 
understand that strangers are going to support you before your friends and family do because your friends and family only see you as the old you they don't see you as the new you that you're trying to become so if you need to isolate isolate yourself from your closest people she has put this she's put it in an in a not only has she recorded it she's typed it up she's got you know she wants you to know this message uh um now i can't remember what i was going to say but how it's so it's so toxic delete yourself from your closest people like it doesn't mean completely isolate them but don't talk to them about your business spend limited amounts of time with them and then when you are alone focus on yourself and when they start to see dang she's popping off on social media wow her business is is blowing up that's when they're gonna come around my genius has a released an income disclosure statement but statistics tell us that 0.1 people earn over six figures and the majority of people in MLMs lose money or, you know, at best break even. Something like 96% or something like that. Okay. I need my, I need to get my site, my sources, but there is an AARP study and there is an FTC study. And we also have many income disclosures. For example, Lindsay here used to be in Monate. And their income disclosure statement said, I think what they make $20 a year or something at the lowest rank. And that's most of the uh, market partners. So, yeah, show, show people that success, Lindsay. You're losing some of your downline because she said she was doing this because she's angry. I do my best work and when I am angry. She's meant to be angry in this one. I'm angry. I am the first online entrepreneur in my family and I want to walk you guys. Next. How I grew from an employee to a business mindset, part two. This is a little controversial. A lot of people don't agree with this, but I genuinely believe, and I've coached several women through this, you have to fake it until you make it. You cannot sit here and show up as your broke self and expect to like get results. You have to show up as who you want to be in the future. And the, the faster you can show up as that, the faster your manifestations are going to accelerate. Now listen, that doesn't mean that you have to lie. It doesn't mean... Bullshit. Oh shit. Fake it till you make it means lying. That's what it is. Van Nguyen, CEO of Bellamy, said we were ballers on a budget. They've even got cute names. Uh yeah, they see they've got cute little terms for it, right? And I believe at Summer Symposium who was it? Mm. Maybe it was Anthony Anthony Napolitano. What's happening, you guys? I'm Anthony Napolitano. That guy. Um, what is up, everybody? He said something like, you know, what's the biggest problem in network marketing or something like that? You know, what do people do? And and everybody was it was a consensus. There was like a, a bit of a discussion about flexing. And that's what she's talking, flexing. Okay? No, you're not saying that you're, you're not, you're not going to say that because that brings the FTC. But what you do is you go on trips. You dress like a business lady. You play business. Okay? You go to all of the events and you dress in designer outfits, etc., etc. This is bullshit as well. Her first reel was ridiculous. Oh, I didn't even notice. 12 likes, nice work. I'm going to have to go back and look. Hang on, I'm just going to go here. 14, 14 likes on the other one. Two comments, 
three saves and one share. Yeah, great. You got some really good engagement there, Lindsay. How are you going to fake that shit? Okay. Let's keep going. This is annoying. Oh, I'm making millions of dollars right away because that's not even relatable. You just have to show up as that boss version of yourself. You have to act as if you are talking to thousands of people already on on your stories. You have to act like you're... She's telling us. This is what they do. Good work, Lindsay. Thank you. You're trying to get a gig in the anti-MLM biz because you could make it. Thank you for... Exposing your tactics. Well done. Yeah, you have a million followers on TikTok already. You have to fake it until you make it. And the more you start showing up as a person, the faster your business is going to grow. I promise you. How I grew from an employee to a first part, correct. Second part, no. It's all luck and stacking in our genius's case. Business mindset part. Two. This is a little controversial. A lot of people don't agree with this, but I genuinely believe. Speak up when I hop by the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop by the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop about the cut, I hop by the cut. Did you just say that? Very quickly at the end. And I'm I want I want you as my mentor and I'm willing to get out of my comfort zone and go all in like you did. In other words, just do what she says. Hop about to cut up. Okay, so from an average girl who got fired from most of her jobs. I don't know if you know this, Lindsay, but most people don't get fired very often. What the fuck were you doing wrong? Oh, and talking on a stage at your own company's fucking, like, thing where you paid to go. <laughs> what an achievement. Oh, a fake trophy from WFAB. Oh, that's that. Oh, I want to know what that says. Because I don't think it says anything. <laughs> I'm trying to pause. Damn. Yeah. I can get a trophy made up with my business name on it too. And that, the white party thing. <gasps> Ready? W I'll keep going. That is so funny. Oh, Wednesday, I promise you. You just and now making ten thousand dollars a month isn't hard. Oh god, she looks even more unreal with that filter there. You just need three sources of income, making one hundred and eleven dollars a day. You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? But do you know what? I've seen this before. Most of you will know are the lovely Ava, and she has her little favorite WFAB girl who called Ethereum Urethrium. Do we remember that? And she said a similar thing, so yeah, nice one, girls. Good one. Oh, I can show you seven ways. Are they actually essentially two ways, recruiting and selling? No. Well, you see, iGenius really, you have to join to get the education. doesn't mean you have to build, but everyone's a customer. Everyone is a customer. All right. I need to look at how long I've been recording because it feels like a lot. (laughs) Um, Okay. Uh, What time is it? Yeah. All right. We'll do Kane as well. It's only 22 minutes. He sucks, honestly. Uh, 
He's very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. Alrighty. I can make him a bit bigger. So, Kane Harriet. Oh, that, did it, was there a rumour that that was who Jasmine's boyfriend was? Who ripped her off? Hmm. They call him the Godfather. Because they all have to have these little nicknames and roles, etc, etc. It's all a persona. In the video that uh, Chelsea did about the summer symposium, he was the idiot who came out and he's like, oh, that's not a good enough entry. I'm coming back on again. And he was like, let's go. And he thinks he's straight. It's a bit sad. Poor fella. Uh, yes, so the beautiful, lovely, and probably the same height as me. We've got so much in common. As Isabel Lanthro did a video on Kane earlier this week. He is a top leader at iGenius. I think he was in it before. And he... I think his ranking, he's one under Rakan. Rakan's the top, and I think he's the next down. Uh, he is one of the leaders of this team in iGenius, which is called Game Changers. And they have, I think their rich call is weekly. I'm not sure. Because it makes you rich, apparently. I don't know. I don't know why it's called the rich call, but that's what it's fucking called. Anyway. 22 minutes shouldn't take us too long. Are we ready? Are you ready for this nonsense? Our coaches on this call. But the first thing we got to do is understand that we got to take care of ourselves in 2022. You're the only person that wakes up with you every morning and you're the only person that goes to bed with you every night. You've seen your best days. And you've seen your worst days and ain't nobody, nobody is going to be with you like you are with you all the time. So take care of you in 2022. That's going to be my message first and foremost. Now, the second thing I want to say, I got a couple of thoughts for you guys. The second thing I want to say is this. So many people want to do what we do. Just because you like my photos, just because you follow me on Instagram, doesn't mean I owe you a favor. I know you want to do what I do. You don't have to like my pictures. You don't have to follow me. And that should go for all of you guys, too. But I want you guys to have people put some respect on GC name, some respect on iGenius name when they ask questions regarding what it is that we do. What the fuck? This is just on YouTube. How does this even make any sense? What is going on? What is he talking about? Put respect on the iGenius and respect on game changers. What? What are you fucking talking about? And he's like, oh, most people want to know how we can do what we... No, most people don't. You fucking hound people. You try... You actively recruit them by inviting them to events promising them tips about being an influencer and then it's just a fucking pyramid scheme now here's what i know for sure when you walk into the louis vuitton store you don't ask for a discount when you walk into a hotel line you don't ask for a discount when you walk into any store around the world or buy a new car with mercedes benz you're not asking for free anything you're paying full pop um i believe that quite a few of those businesses do actually, you know, um, have promo material. Like, I know when Skin by Kim, Kim K, she had a, she had a really nice, uh, uh, promo pack that went out to people for free. I know when Beyonce, uh, released one of her Ivy Park lines, a whole people, they got like a rack and things. People like that because they're actually rich and real. They're real people who are who've earned their money in honest, mostly honest ways, you know. 
within reason, but they aren't outwardly ripping off people to make money off them. So yes, you do pay full price because you're fucking no one, okay? So when somebody jumps into your DM and says, explain NFTs, explain crypto, I want some information, but I don't want to sign up, you got to let them know very quick and very swiftly, this is a business. Put some respect. <laughs> okay, maybe I brought the funny. Let me get this straight, okay? You go into Dre's DMs. You go into fucking the the girl who is in all of Ava's clips, right? And you ask them what an NFT is? I don't think so. I don't think that's your first point of call. And do you know what? They're probably going to try and give the definition because if you're a see you next Tuesday in the DMs, there's not much chance that you're going to fucking recruit them because you can't treat them like this when you're trying to recruit them, only afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking of Daniela. Not Marie, Daniela A, um, saying, I don't want to learn crypto. <laughs> oh, I hope he's got some more bangers like that one. I call my name because this is a business. I have paying clients. I don't have time to go backwards. You don't have clients. He, he. <laughs> Oh, I love to laugh. It's great. You don't have clients. You have team. You have recruits. That's it. <laughs> Some forwards with you about chitta chatter, yappa yappa. What I can do though is help you out if you're willing to pay the price. Because you didn't have that energy when you walked into Louis Vuitton. You didn't have that energy when you walked into Balenciaga. You were okay paying the price, knowing you are not fucking Louis Vuitton. And you are not Balenciaga. You just buy their clothes to flex. He probably earns money. Yeah, I'm not saying he doesn't earn a lot of money. He does. Off the backs of the lower ranks. What you know. So when you walk into my DM, guess what? Good news, that's my store. Guess what? Good news, this is my business. So you're going to talk to me with an element of respect. Guys, that is called posture. In 2022, GC is going to have a lot of posture, right? iGenius is going to have a lot of posture. you got to have something called a backbone. <laughs> Drop some comments if you have a backbone. I got a back. He's been studying speakers. He's got a cadence. It's it's and the cadence and the repetition. But he's been studying this because it, it's got it's got an up and down, it's got a rhythm. This is all fucking scammy as shit. You are not any of those things. A posture, having a backbone means being up front. You know how you fucking earn your money. And you sit there and you want them to worship you? You would be nothing without your downline. Nothing. You need them. They don't fucking need you. Bone, I tell you that is strong. I am not a worm. <laughs> Are you a slippery worm? Because if you're a worm, you typically don't have a backbone. I'm not a worm. <laughs> I don't oh, yeah, you are. You don't tell the truth about how you earn your money. You. You're the lowest uh, of the low. I don't know what you guys are, but that's how I'm feeling. And that's how I'm feeling to start this call today. Got to have that backbone. Can you show me the uh, crypto education? Can you talk to me about what sort of coins I should be buying? No. You didn't have that energy when you walked into Mercedes Benz. Don't have that energy when you talk to me. This. 
Fuck off. What a wanker. How can people enjoy this? I'd be like, get out of my face, you fucking idiot. Like, how dare you talk to other humans like that? And you know what? You could speak at a general, like a normal level, but you want to yell because you're a big man, right? Because you're not a worm. This is fucking pathetic. This is an, a pathetic excuse for a man and a leader. This is a business, okay? A lot of you guys want to be these six and seven figure earners. You want to be a sixer, right? You want to be a seven. You got to have a backbone. Promise you, it's the one thing that's going to separate you from everybody else. I got some random thoughts, and this is the first one I want to now that a lot of people don't have that backbone. I'll tell you something about a six and seven figure earner. Let's not even talk about an eight figure earner. It comes with problems. <laughs> it comes with pro Most of y'all don't want money because you don't want problems. You're not going to have money unless you have problems. Oh, no. Oh, no, rich man. Do you have problems? Do we have to feel sorry for you? Oh, fuck off. That's why you get paid more, apparently. You take on that role. You know how you earn your money. You fucking deserve the problems. You need more problems in your life, actually. And that's why we'll always keep talking about this shit. Because you are the problem. Fuck off. No one feels sorry for you with your multi-million dollar fucking yearly earnings and getting, you know, 100K a month and all that sort of business. It's bullshit, this excuse. You don't want money because you don't, you, don't, you don't even know what you do with that sort of money. It's like, no, you don't know what to do with it and you're deathly afraid that it's going to be taken away at every moment. So you do have posture. This is it. This is him posturing as... I'm a confident man. I'm fucking man. I'm fucking this. And you're, you just, you don't even know what you want. And I know what you want. Fuck off. Sometimes I want more problems because it means more money. You understand something? Rakan didn't dye his hair platinum. That is called gray hair, ladies and gentlemen, because he has problems. He welcomes. <laughs> Rakan. He's the top, he's the top and oh no, sorry, Anthony Napolitano is. He did dye his hair, BTW. He did dye his fucking hair, you idiot. Uh, but he's been actively building that since, for years. He... I fucking hope he has more problems. No one should be feeling sorry for anyone at the top of the table. And this is fucking pathetic. Those gray hairs. He wants more problems. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Some of you guys hit adversity. You hit a, you hit a speed ramp. Doo -doo -doo -doo, and you're like, I can't do this no more. This ain't for me. I got haters. I got people showing me articles. I got things that are going wrong in my business. People are bashing me. Well, you're not trying to make money then. Go look at Kim K. Go look at Apple. Go look at Tesla. They're attacking all the... You aren't, you aren't those people and you are not that company. Because, like, as much as I don't love Kim K, um, she works really hard with her companies to make money, you know, like, yeah... She has advisors. What are you doing? She has advisors, obviously. Her mother is very good at managing her. But she earns her money quite legitimately. Skims is reportedly very good, very good quality. Uh, they are really good at size representation, all that sort of stuff. So you can say that there, yep, there's haters out there. 
But there's not actually just haters in our side of the company or, you know, in the side of this argument because we're presenting information, factual information with sources. That's not hate. It's education. It's consumer education. Oh, the dogs have found something. What do you got, doggies? Hopefully, hopefully they don't have a gecko. Hopefully it's a cockroach that they're killing. The poor, the poor dogs, they are very out of sorts. Uh, and because I don't trust the yard just yet, I haven't let them sort of run free. But then I haven't had a time to, to take them for walks in the afternoon. And it's really, really hilly where I live now. And they will pull me down the freaking hill. Anyway, um, this guy sucks. He, the... The way that he speaks to people is rubbish. People shouldn't have to be spoken to like this, even if they are, they do have an aggressive upline. Well, you know, any upline should be kissing your downline fucking ass. And as much as I hate and dislike Danielle Mioli or, you know, Veronica Bay or whoever, they don't speak like this to their downlines. Time, but they handle those problems because they want more problems because more problems means more money. So I got a question, GCI genius. Do you want more problems? I welcome the problems. We can either choose violence or violence. I don't care. Back to front, front to back. I really don't care. Somebody said, oh my God, that happened to me. Welcome. <laughs> what? You can choose violence or violence. What the fuck? You welcome it. Of course. Because you're getting paid a lot of money. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck if they're getting harassed. You don't give a fuck about anything. Except Rakan, apparently. Because he's... I've heard him on more than one occasion say, Rakan has the problems. Good. <laughs> welcome, right? Let me share something with you guys real quick. Are we okay? Violence or violence? Are we okay? Did I scare anybody yet? Did I did no. I scare anybody yet? No, I just came on because you're a little bit. You want to be big man, but you're not. You're not fucking scary. You're a weak, weak man underneath all of that. This is just bravado. Because Lindsay, who we were watching before, told us, you fake it. We know. And I started yelling. I just realized my neighbors always wonder what's going on on a Sunday. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. What you stand for is more important than what you sell. Somebody come look at this. You're on a fucking Zoom call, you idiot. Everyone can see it. You just enlarged it. Drop a comment if you agree. Matter of fact, don't drop any comments. I want y'all to pay attention. What you stand for is more. What? I think you'll find that most people are receptive when they're asked for a bit of feedback. So how about get fucked? Honestly, this guy. Can we please get somebody else to do some videos on him? Because Isabella, she's unearthed a fucking demon of a man. Now, it's interesting that he's going with this because I, in Isabella's video, Rakan is talking about how people people go to people. They don't care about products anymore. And it's interesting because I saw Jesse Lee, hashtag boss Lee, uh, talking about that as well. So I think they have trends with what they say, you know, like everybody was talking about pouring into, everybody was talking about pivoting, everybody, you know, they have phrases and thoughts and things like that that they all follow each other in doing because you duplicate 
that's where that's where success is in duplication. Um, so I think that's what they're pushing at the moment because, like, it's almost like, you know, putting it all out there without, I don't know, dancing with the lights, you know, like you can still see that the problem is recruiting because that's what this is. It doesn't matter what you sell. It's true. They're just actually explicitly saying it now. important than what you sell. Because a lot of people just sell things to sell things because somebody told you to sell it. But what you stand for is 10 times more important. And someone's going to join your team not because of what you sell, it's because of what you stand for and who you are. You understand that people like Rakan, they can make a lot of money doing a lot of different things, but he stands for a purpose. And that purpose doesn't compromise. And when you compromise your purpose, you compromise the money. So what you stand for is always... Are they fucking? I don't know. Let's. He really does seem to talk uh, Rakan a lot up. It's okay. You can have a good, genuine male friendship. That's fine. But you know, it's going to be ten times more important than what you sell. Can we agree that there's better, there's better pizza than some of these fast food pizza chains? But because that pizza, the, the pizza food chain stands for a certain purpose and it gives you a certain vibe, a certain culture, a certain emotion, you go to it. We all know that Apple, like it is what it is. But I would agree with some Samsung users, Android sometimes is further ahead than Apple. Sometimes it's really good if you have a speech that you're doing right and you run it by somebody before you say it, so then it's not fucking stupid. Just a thought. Uh, pain is the king of the fucking stupid metaphor. I ain't eating shitty pizza. I don't care what the fucking culture of the pizza shop is. How stupid. But because we like what Apple stands for, we go to Apple. It's no. I have an Apple because it talks to all my other things that are Apple. All right? I prefer, like, the layout. What a fucking idiot. You're meant to be, you, you know, like you think you're one thing. You're meant to be a salesperson. You don't know anything about marketing, obviously. I'm a fucking, this guy is an idiot. Familiar to us. So you realize that there's so many different places people can learn crypto, people can learn equities, people can learn Forex, but they're, they're going to you because you're standing for something. You're standing for change. You're standing for hope. You're standing for opportunity. No. You're showing a flexing lifestyle and promising them by proxy that they can have that as well. That's why. Okay? That voice is the reason people are joining you. I want you to understand, you slippery worm. You can't be talking about products all day. You got to let somebody know what you stand for. A lot of reps don't stand for anything. No backbone at all. The minute somebody gives you some sort of adversity, you back up, you run, you crawl back into your cave, and you close your eyes. Why? What is the point of that? You got to let people know, hey, this is what I stand for. Some people don't like feeling like shit. Some people are okay with grinding and listening to people and taking on what they say because maybe what you get in the DMs is something about how you could trade this crypto here and copy these trades because you can get it for free here, here, and here. You might also, you know, get some facts about iGenius and how it used to be Kavera and how it used to be wealth generators and how the old CEO of Investview is, is he in, I think he's awaiting trial for fraud and, you know, People are going to listen to that, maybe. Not you. You know that. You know all of that shit. But you don't care. This is what I'm doing. This is how I feel. This is where I'm going. And things happen. That's how we make things happen, guys. That's how we make things happen. Okay. Look at any massive organization in the world. Look at any athlete. Look at any celebrity. Whatever you want to look at. I don't care. They stand for something so much more important than what you see on the TV because authenticity speaks loudly. It's... <laughs> 
again. What was I anticipating? I literally just analyzed a TikTok from one of your downline saying that you fake it till you make it. It's not fucking authentic, is it? This persona, that's not real. <laughs> I didn't even realize you had it on the screen. That's how I was just like. What a fucking joke. You're a joke. Speaks very loud. Typically, the people that make a lot of money, they're very authentic. I don't want to be the richest network marketer in the world. I want to be the realest network marketer in the world. I want to be the all. Oh, oh. What an idiot. I'm so real. I'm so real. <laughs> most authentic network marketer in the world. I want you guys to know when I speak, man, I want the ground to shake. I want the walls to crumble. I want to break the ceiling. I want to go to the stratosphere because my authenticity should speak before I do. Authenticity. I want to you guys authenticity. Um, Kane. Kane. Can, let's just have a little chat here, okay? Outside of iGenius, no one gives a fuck who you are. You are not the godfather to anyone except for people from iGenius. People don't know you. They don't care about you. You're no one outside of this company. And you only stay in it for that ego boost. Yeah, the money. The money is pretty, a pretty important part of it, but... You look at these top leaders, the amount of praise they expect that they give to themselves is phenomenal. They are. They appear to be very narcissistic and definitely massive main character syndrome. Remember, he won. He he thought he was Drake. He thinks he's Drake. Look at me walk out onto this stage to a Drake song. But I'm a network marketer. I'm a salesman. So authentic. I feel the same way. I'm gonna let y'all catch up because I said a lot of stuff to y'all. I want to make sure y'all are catching up. Oh oh, are... oh damn! Thank you, thank you, Kane. It was so much. Oh, we have to catch up. <laughs> How can I, with my little, little human brain, catch up with Kane, the great godfather? Catching up? Y'all okay? Y'all okay? You don't we care. Good? Right? You don't care. A lot of y'all don't want that smoke. You don't want the smoke. You just don't. And I know it. I can feel it in my bones. I watch your post. Then why did you recruit them? Fuck off. If you know it, then kick them off the call. Kick them out of the chats, refund their money, and and get rid of them. If you know that. Oh, my God. What are the fucking dogs looking for? I have no idea. Very interesting behind the scenes here. Look around my desk like this is another illusion like my desk is so messy at the moment <laughs> it is ridiculous okay let's go with this fucking idiot you copy in the next person because the next person is doing something what do you stand for can we all agree that there's a blueprint in network marketing and share the message whatever the product is share it communicate but the way we we, we do things is different all of us grew up in a different household we have different ethics different religions we have different beliefs so then why do you all duplicate each other? Like, are you not about to say you you are your own person? Because you're not. You're not in network marketing. You have to take on the the winner, whoever the persona is, the, the main person, Rakan. The spice you put on your business, the spice you put on your brand, that's going to be your authenticity. And I don't know what it says. I don't 
Authenticity. <laughs> Kane, if you can't say authenticity, maybe just use like a smaller word, okay? For what it says. Mine says something different than yours. Just because you ain't one of them doesn't mean that you're one of us. I promise you. Just because you're not a hater doesn't mean that you're a supporter. This is why I don't even like likes. I don't even like likes. Just because you ain't one of them doesn't mean that you're one of us. It doesn't mean that. A lot of y'all think y'all have a lot of friends. A lot of people are following you just to hate on you. A lot of people are following you just to spy on you. A lot of people are following you just to see how far you're getting ahead so they could criticize something that you're going to do. You understand there's always going to be somebody that talk about something. This is awful. I've seen people, like I had, this is my, my first, well, second, my second experience. Oh, no, sorry, third, because stupid Afnan and her, Afnan's, like, this is another one of Isabella's things. Afnan had this affectation with her voice, like, basketball, oh, it was like, and you watch the basketball team. She was doing the weird thing, and it's like, Hey, I've known people are allowed to fucking like basketball. They're allowed to to follow along and ident identify with the team. And it's a, like, why do they have to fucking have no life except for IGNs? I know why, but um, this is demeaning, demoralizing. I would be demoralized. And I have, like, oh, that's where I, what I was saying. Um, I've seen people talk about the rich call afterwards and say, oh, that was, that rich call was fire and the Godfather delivering fire, you know, blah, 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 blah. this is it, I needed to hear this. Like this is downright rude and very demeaning. This is your downline. They pay your bill. They pay your income without them you wouldn't have it so to make them feel like this like they're alienated from a group that is meant to accept them is a revolting because as we know they've pretty much pushed away all of their other supports and you're you're the only the only thing left to them and you're saying you're not one of us. And he said he doesn't like likes. How fucking ridiculous. So you don't want to get picked up by the algorithm for having a popular post? Okay. You don't really need it maybe, but other people do. What a nasty, nasty man. This is revolting. I didn't get vaccinated for no reason. I don't talk to germs. Ooh, ooh. I don't talk to germs. I just don't. Germs. <laughs> They're contagious. I don't talk to germs. Just because you ain't one of them doesn't mean that you're one of us. I don't know what side you fall on, but I wake up with that energy every day. It's truth. Somebody said that's my entire high school, 100%. Let's get into branding real quick. Flash through this real quick. I got a lot of random thoughts for you today, but I promise if you put it together in your notes, you use this, you can make millions of dollars with this information. You can make the average person afraid of a common cold just by branding. How about that? GC is a brand, right? iGenius is a brand. You can make the average person afraid of the common cold just by changing its name. How about that? Uh, we call it the flu where I'm from. Hey, I'm, I'm one of those 80s babies. Just so you know, I was 88. I grew up in the 90s. We call that thing a cold. My mom said, go get some ginger ale and go sleep it off. You ever heard of Vicks? Go sleep it off. <laughs> that was my remedy coming up in the 90s. Go sleep it off. Go get in the shower, sleep it off, take a nap, right? But you can change the name of a common cold and call it Omri, Crom, and Delta, Omega, and people lose their shit. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going in this direction. I'm like, um, I haven't had COVID. Touch some wood. Um, people died, okay? I don't, I don't know if you know that. People died. A lot of people died from covid so be real nice if you took that fucking smile off your face a heartless individual that's called branding y'all that is called branding if we change the name from the common cold to omri Com delta omarion people people lose their minds it's the truth 
So if you don't think marketing is important, if you don't think brands in the book, just, just, just look at that right there. And I put it in red so y'all could see it. Even if you have a dirty camera, you could see it, right? Is he, does he, is he, has he got some, like, processing issues? Because this doesn't make fucking sense. What do you mean? What are the notes? What What are the notes you could possibly take from that? Common cold, know your branding. The fuck? Why don't you talk about, I don't know. Um... Oh, shit, I'm trying to think of something that, like, kind of changed its brand. Oh, far out. <sighs> okay, so uh, Phil Collins was with, no, that's too late. Um, Power of Branding, American Horror Story, okay, that's more of a, like, an entertainment one, right? American Horror Story stuck with its original branding but had a different story in each season the common fucking cold doesn't make sense what an idiot seems like it was just a point to talk about how is stupid how we had omicron and fucking this and that oh this man i'm gonna be dumber by the end of this oh only 10 minutes in <laughs> i'm gonna make him faster i'm sorry i know it's annoying I, I, you ever seen an iPhone box? That's branding. Some of you guys wondering why I'm talking about this because this is what we're going to be doing in 2022. You guys know about GC Media. We're kind of going to talk to you guys about some stuff soon. Where we're going with GC, it's not just a network marketing team. Uh-uh. This is, this is the big league. Where we're going with this GC Media thing, what we're going to be doing in 2022 is the big league. I want y'all to comment big league, right? We're going somewhere. Uh, it's uh, the 6th of October, 2022. What? Where is this thing that you're talking about? Because I don't see anything. GCM media or whatever. Or else, right? You want a bumba, huh? You want to chill with the big boys? That's where we're going. We're going big with this one, right? Look at an iPhone box. This is a MacBook. The box, I bet you anything, if you bought a, a Mac product, an Apple product, I bet you anything you kept the box. You know why? Because Apple put so much money into their branding that when you take an iPhone out the box or a MacBook, it does this like with the air and it doesn't drop right away. It, it makes the unboxing feel real nice because there's this little bit of air in between the sides. What I'm trying to say is basically you didn't throw away the box for a reason because that's called branding. They're so smart. You understand? So 2022, we're going to be doing You're not like them. A lot of branding about GC, a lot of branding about IGs. I know a lot of the updates that are coming. They're going to blow your mind. Blow your mind, right? Again, 6th of October, where are they? Look at this one. Look at this real quick. Ladies, let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> girls want girls where I'm from. You know why I say that? You know you know why I say that? Because girls are recruiting girls these days. They don't want to recruit guys anymore. I feel like girls are the best marketers in the world, man. Girls want girls where I'm from. <laughs> Different meaning to the song for me. That's what I was thinking. When you say girls want girls where I'm from. Okay, and unfortunately still... Management is dominated by men, but I don't think anyone should be in direct sales. All right, let's hear him his shitty take on this because it's going to be bad. Okay, let's prepare. That's what I was thinking, but whatever. Payless shoes did what fashion over does. I want you guys to understand something. My mom used to buy me Payless shoes in the 90s, and I didn't want to wear them because I didn't think they were cool. I wouldn't want to go to school with Jordans. I want to go to school with Nikes. Yeah, it looks like he's reliving that now. Probably has like 10, 15 pairs of Jordans. Uh, I think you'll find, though, Kane, that people still shop at Payless. My mom would buy me Payless shoes. The twenty dollars shoes. She's like, wearing the shoes is shoes. The shoes is shoes. I said, the shoes are not shoes. Nobody wears Payless shoes. Payless shoes went out of business. Just so you know, Fashion Nova does the same thing. Every girl on here has bought some Fashion Nova. Guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this conversation is not for you. Fashion Nova prices their shoes at the same point as Payless shoes, but Fashion Nova's branding is on point. Y'all tell me I'm lying. The ladies, talk to me for a second. Tell me I'm lying. Um, you're not lying, but it's not a fucking good point. Whatever. I've never had any fashion over things. And, yeah, it was a different market. I don't know. Uh, there are plenty of budget shoe places. I think Fashion Nova does shoes as well. So. I figured this out by myself, by the way. Payless shoes was Fashion Nova just too late. Yeah, fella. I figured this out by myself, by the way. By the way, 
Uh, one reason I believe you is because you literally said we duplicate. We duplicate, right? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Ladies agreeing with me. Fashion Nova can charge $25 a pair of shoes and girls go nuts. They order like six of them. But for some reason, we couldn't do that in the 90s with Payless shoes because it wasn't cool yet. So branding, you understand what I'm trying to say? You could flip back to front anything you want. And now all of a sudden rocking a $20 pair of shoes is cool. Where was that in the 90s? Man, I got to call up my mother and apologize to her because she was onto something. If you grew up 20 years ago, something like that, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? Sometimes people just don't want to hear the truth. Let's just be honest. Because it destroys their own illusion that they create. I could talk to you all day. Oh, oh, the absolute irony of this. You don't want to hear the truth, Kane, that you are a flim flam scammer, in my opinion, because you have quite an impression of who you are. And it's illusion, an illusion. And, you know, I think these top leaders like this, like these ones with the bravado, they're empty inside. And this is just outrunning it. What they have to do to function as humans is get ahead of the fi the voice inside their head that's telling them that they're a fraud, and they have to run from that because they know it's the truth. You see, as somebody who has depression. I tell myself I'm a fraud all the time, okay? And I have to have a lot of really positive self-talk to get over that. It's taken me, you know, a few years to do it. But, yeah, there's not much inside of that little shell of a human. Hey, about our genius. I can talk to you all day about GC. I can talk to you all day about crypto. But if you feel how you feel because you did whatever you did in your life, you might not want me to destroy your own illusion. This is why people don't sign up sometimes. This is why people want to battle you sometimes. This is why people give you a hard time sometimes. Sometimes people join the business, they join the system, and they figure it out very fast. They're not as influential as they thought they was, so they have to do something so they don't destroy their own illusion. I tell you something, I've signed up some of the most popular people. Like I've signed up athletes. I've signed up some celebrities. I've signed up some rappers. I've signed up some really big influencers. And they're influential in their niche, maybe, maybe, but all of a sudden they transition to our niche and that energy doesn't transition very well. And instead of What's that? Oh, you're not going to list anyone? You're not give, going to give a specific example? Okay. Totally believe you. Of them understanding that, hey, maybe I need to work on myself, they bash it. You know why they bash it? Because they don't want me to destroy their illusion. That because you're a scamp. They created in their head that they're so much of an influencer. I kid you not, I'm speaking facts. I kid you not. Some people join and they say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to share this with the world. I'm going to share this with like 20 people. My grandma, auntie, cousins are all going to do this. I'm going to pack out in the bed. My webinar is going to be 5,000 people. This is what I can do. And all of a sudden, they can't hit platinum executive. And they blame it on the product. They um, because you recruited them on false pretenses. And they see the reality of what they have to do. Recruit, recruit, recruit. That's it. Blame it on the economy. They blame it on Omicron. They blame it on Delta. They blame it on their upline. They blame it on the government. They blame Ooh. That's personal for him. He's like, they blamed it on me. I'm the victim. Blame it on the weather. They blame it on dirty cameras. Do you understand? Do you understand? Some people don't want this illusion. I am concerned for this man's sanity. Dirty cameras. That is that really an excuse somebody's given you? Wow. Destroyed because they've created this fake reality in their head that they know better. Someone said not the dirty cameras. <laughs> it's true. Maybe they got a dirty lens. I don't know because I'm looking at something different in 3D over here. My brain works in color. I don't know about you guys. I don't look things black and white. This NFT thing is for real. That metaverse thing is for real. Binary options, equities, that's for real. Crypto core, that's for real. Crypto elite, that's for real. Like, we really got talent out here. We really are rough. I'm going to mention, like, so he started with tangible things, like uh, 
Oh, crap. What was for real? Um, oh, I just need to go back a little minute because I'm just like, what a fucking idiot this man is. He really is an idiot. Crypto core, that's for real. Crypto, crypto, the crypto metaverse thing is for meta white guys. Well, I don't know about you guys. I don't look things black and white. This NFT thing is for real. That metaverse thing is for real. Binary. Okay, so yeah. Uh, the binary and crypto like market is real. So is metaverse. That's real. And so yeah, NFTs. But your crypto core and crypto elite, not the same. It's not the same. But you got to sneak it in because crypto elite is the package that they want you to buy because that's what gives you the best opportunity to trade crypto. The options, equities, that's for real. Crypto core, that's for real. Crypto elite, that's for real. Like we really got talent out here. We really are robbing the banks out here, like you said. And if you can't see that, it's because you failed somewhere in your life and you don't want really to destroy your illusion. A lot of people can't handle it. They go to bed at night. It makes them feel better. Somebody come look at this. Should I wait for you to catch up or are we good? Let me know. If what do you mean? Someone come look at this. You're on a fucking Zoom call with a slide. With a slide. Of course they're watching this. Because you probably make them put their cameras on. This guy's a fucking idiot. We're good. So I got this thing where I just like to. <laughs> 1970. Look what you could get. Look what eggs, milk cost. 62 cents, dollar 15. Average house, 20. Oh. oh. Somebody who has no idea about the economy is about to talk about inflation. All right. $6,000. Gas, 36 cents. What are we talking about? That's 1970. When your parents say, you know, y'all have it so easy. Are you sure, mom? Are you sure, dad? Auntie, uncle, are you sure? Because the way I'm looking at things, equal pay, opportunity, minimum wage compared to what you were paying for things. Are you sure, mom? I want you guys to understand, as millennials, as Generation Z, y'all are going to have a different fight. Your fight is a forever fight. We are growing up in the most unjust time ever. And I'll put it out there. We don't have it easy. I don't care what they think social media is. We don't have it easy. Because this is not possible no more. Most of you will never own a home. Not by yourself. You need a spouse. And that spouse better have some money. You cannot. Oh, my God. He's so stupid. Be dating a side dish. You got to date an entree. They got to have some equal pay because houses are expensive. Gas is expensive. Food is expensive today. It's true. Some of y'all are dating broccoli and wondering why you can't pay the bills. Like, I'm just telling you, it is what it is, right? I ain't dating no biscuit, right? It is what it is, right? You got to make some money. Inflation is 2.5% per year over the last 30 years. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. Inflation is 2.5% per year over the last 30 years. We know what prices are today, but look at 2070 when, 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 I'm, when I'm doing this, when my hair is the same color as Rakan's. 2070, 50 years from now. Look at the prices. I Got to mention Rakan, his life partner. Just did it for inflation. I did the math for y'all. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. He did the math for years. Thanks, Kane. I bet you that was out of the bottom of your heart. You know, no ulterior motive to manipulate people so that they, you know, do the things that you want them to do so your check stays the same. Y'all just comment ridiculous. <laughs> I don't want that type of smoke. But you know what? To be honest with you, if that's what it is, I can't control it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to raise the lid. We're going to make more money. We're going to invest better. We're going to get smarter. We're going to share the opportunity. We're going to do did you hear his fantastic fucking plan for being able to do these things and buy these things? You got to get more money. <laughs> He's cracked the code, people. Pack it in. We can go. Keynes told us the secret to living better. Get more money. Okay. This fucking guy. We need eyes on this fucking guy. All right? What is it? I'm going to prepare. I'm going to be ready for when this happens. And I'll be real with you. I actually think that's going to happen before 2070. I don't think it's going to take 50 years. I think that'll be like that in like 20 years, to be honest with you. 
Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all can argue with me. Y'all can debate with me, whatever y'all want to do. But that's how I feel it's going to be. Probably oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah. Best buds forever, you know, in this company. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll ring it up at our family reunion. Or maybe when you have, like, you know, a, an anniversary for your wedding with Ricard. 20 years. Ridiculous. Somebody said five years. Maybe so. Who knows? But let me ask you a question. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Or are you spineless? Or you don't have a backbone? Are you going to run for cover? Are you going to cover up your eyes and act like it doesn't work? Or what we do doesn't help people? Are you going to run for the shelter, the bunker? What are you going to do? Are you prepared? I'm prepared. I'm really prepared. Matter of fact, some of y'all children in the next 25 years is going to be like, Mom, Dad, what the hell were you doing when Bitcoin was X amount of money? What the, what the, what were you doing? What were all those Gucci belts? I can't do nothing with this. Mom, all that Sephora makeup, I can't do nothing with this. Dad, all Oh, damn. He's coming for the girls now. Like, fuck off. Let people have things. They, the downline in an iGenius team, they would work their asses off. Most downlines do for you just to say this. How are they so disrespectful? Those Jordans, I can't do nothing with this. (laughs) Some of y'all kids are going to hear pure weave. And he does the, <laughs> it's not a, it's not a nice laugh. That's a, I am laughing at you because you're ridiculous. Because at the moment, I'm posturing myself of being enlightened and you're below me. So I'm going to laugh at you because you're pathetic. Get out of there, I genius people. He's pathetic. And Jordans. <laughs> Extensions and Jordans. Some of y'all children are going to inherit some BS. Promise you. What the? What were you doing when Ethereum was this price, mom? <laughs> it's the truth, right? Somebody said living paycheck to paycheck is irresponsible. I can debate both sides. I can choose violence or violence on this one. But I'm going to raise a point to you. I don't really care what you feel on this topic, but I'm going to raise a point. If living paycheck to paycheck is irresponsible, and the way they market and brand to us is that the banks say you have to have at least six months worth of income to be safe. I don't know too many people that actually have six months worth of income to pay bills. I actually do not know too many people. I know rich people. I know poor people. They're pretty much in the same situation because when you make more money, your lifestyle elevates. Somebody said paycheck to paycheck is irresponsible. But let me pose this to you. When COVID first hit, take this in. I'm going to say it really slow because I was thinking about it. People don't have a choice of living paycheck to paycheck if they are actually living that way. Um, because of the reasons that you had on your last slide where you said that inflation had occurred since the 1970s. So that's why they are living paycheck to paycheck. So maybe, maybe have a little bit of a second thought before you fucking make a dickhead of yourself because that's what this whole call's been. When COVID first hit, a lot of these billion-dollar brands, million-dollar brands, almost went bankrupt in the first month. Hmm. Hmm. So where was their six months saved up? Where was their six months of preparation? Because in the first month, two months, they were screaming bankruptcy and asking the government for a bailout. I'm just saying. So- yes, so were a lot of network marketers. But um, have you got some data on that? And like, what did they do? Did they restructure? Because you see, quite a few people just had no revenue coming in. It doesn't matter how much money... You're going to burn through it eventually, especially where people may have still been getting paid in that first month. So they had to pay out extra money without actually being open. And, you know, I don't think that this is the the, the burn or the win that it is. And he is, uh, you know, not going to lighten it up anyway. But They expect people to have six months, but most of these restaurants went out of business in two weeks. They went out of business in two weeks. What were they doing with their money? What were some of these big, big dealerships doing with their money? There's a dealership behind my house. There was Audi behind my house. We can't afford to. They shut down the dealership last year. Where was their six months of income? Talk about regular people should do this. Single mom, single dad should be able to save six months of income. Big businesses can't even do that. You got to make. Who, who said, who is saying that you have to do this? Who are you hating on right now who's doing this? Because. I haven't heard you say anyone who's doing this. Make more money. You have to make more money. You got to do something different because I'm telling you what they're preaching isn't what they're doing. 
Watch the feet, not the lips. Watch the feet, not the lips. Promise you. Promise you. Are y'all getting it yet? Everybody wants something real until somebody comes who is real that challenges them to change their standards, challenges them to be consistent, real considerate, real committed. And that's what your upline is doing. Cha- oh, this one's all in red. So it must be really important. It's hard to read though. Everyone wants something real until they meet someone whose real standards challenge them to be real, consistent, real, considerate. You think you did something there, don't you? You've, he's he's just going to be like, <laughs> I am a renaissance man and I can express myself like Poe. <laughs> I have a cravat and a glass of whiskey. Ooh, that burns, but it's a good burn. What an idiot. Challenging you in ways that you don't want to be challenged, I promise you. Most people don't want to be real committed. They don't want a real challenge. They're not real considerate. And they're not real committed. So when I'm your upline, or when your upline talks to you and talks to you in a certain way, and you get offended and leave a chat group or go on Instagram and start saying he, she, and all this, that's because you didn't want something real. You wanted something fake from the get-go. I promise you, you want you you wasn't ready. Oh, so you know let a vent either. You're not allowed to talk about the company if you leave. You're not allowed to say anything if you have a negative experience. But you know what? Can we just refer back to the beginning of this video, right? Where I was looking at the reviews for iGenius and they were basically spam bots. So who the fuck is talking, you know, like who's saying the positive things about iGenius other than you? People are allowed to talk about their experiences. It's not hate. It is sharing information. For the real, you wasn't ready for it. And I get a lot of people sign up before they're mentally prepared for what they're going to hear. There's sometimes I'd rather tell a representative, just quit. Get out of here. Beat it. (laughs) Have you done that? Because you should. Because you were saying before. Oh, you people don't want to do this, that, and the other. And he had said it on the other call that Isabella watched as well. Oh, well, I'll just log off now if you aren't going to listen. It's like, fuck off. Condescending, pretentious dickhead. The end. That's got to be the that's gotta be the rudest way to tell somebody to quit. Beat it! <laughs> From now on, 2022, when somebody is teeter-tottering, we're going to be like, beat it! <laughs> because I'll be honest. I'm not about to dim my light because you can't see your future. It's the truth. Promise. So that, that was a lot of information. I realized. Hopefully y'all don't hate me. Hopefully I didn't scare right. you. And hopefully you got some notes. Rakan, I'm sending that right back to you, Habibi. Habibi. Um, no, I didn't get any of that from, and you didn't talk about anything. You just talk shit. I thought that the Wafabi girls and Rakan and the whole other leadership team of GC, Game Changers, their team name, were bad. He's, he is revolting. What a poor, sorry excuse of a man. Oh, gross. I feel quite dirty after having to listen to that so i am gonna go have a shower maybe a bath who knows haven't had a tub in the new house and hopefully i'll get this out tomorrow all right have a good one people thanks for being with me let's all hate i genius together i feel i feel the energy of hating of hating them forever now with the passing of daniela Marie, I mean, no, she didn't pass away. She went to Q Sciences. Uh, should be some interesting days ahead. Anyway, have a good one, everybody. And I will, I'll see you next time. Okay? All right. Goodbye. <laughs>